the fruits of the Spirit. In the scriptures, Heavenly Father teaches us about the fruits of the Spirit. It's not talking about real fruit that you eat. It's talking about what happens to us when we have the Spirit of God in our hearts. Fruit of something means the result of something. It's the thing that happens at the end. The fruit of an apple tree after it's all done growing is apples. The fruit of an orange tree is oranges. And the fruit of a grapevine is grapes. But there are also fruits when we do things too. The fruit of eating lots of sugar is... We're hyper! The fruit of brushing our teeth is... We have clean teeth. And do you know what the fruit of exercising is? We get stronger. The Spirit of God can be with us when we keep the commandments. But if we don't keep the commandments, the Spirit of God will leave. When we do things that invite the Spirit, the Spirit of God can be with us. And when the Spirit is with us, that has fruits too. The first fruit of the Spirit is love. When we have the Spirit with us, we know that God loves us, and we are filled with love for God and for other people. Another fruit of the Spirit is joy. We feel really happy, and not just for a little while. We feel happy all the time. Another fruit of the Spirit is peace. We don't feel worried or angry or stressed. Our hearts can rest and we feel calm and peaceful. Another fruit of the Spirit is long suffering. That means we can be really patient even when other people are causing problems for us. Another fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. We are kind and caring with other people and other things. Another fruit of the Spirit is goodness. We only want to think about good things, and we only want to do good things. Another fruit of the Spirit is faith. That means we believe in Jesus Christ, and we are willing to do what He asks us to do. The next fruit of the Spirit is meekness. Meekness means that we can control our emotions and control our actions, even if we're having a bad day. And the last fruit of the Spirit is temperance. That means we can say no to something that isn't good for us, even if we really want it. God loves us and He wants to bless us with good things. When we have the Spirit with us, lots of good things happen. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. And that's why we need to try our best to always do things that invite the Spirit. The End If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. And click the bell.